Well, hello everyone. This is Miss Havisham. Here I am at King Charles the Martyr Church, which is in the Peak Forest in Derbyshire. Now, first of all, where I'm beginning is at this family vault, which when I did the research before, it showed that there was an old grave by the side of the family vault that was from 1726, which is, to me, it's one of the oldest graves that I've come across so far in my researches. So I'm not actually sure which one it is, but it said it was by the side of this family vault, which has got all the iron railings around it. Um, so a lot of these are covered in moss and things like that, so I can't actually read the inscriptions, but someone uh, who had been around some years ago and, and taken some photographs and they'd actually listed the names of people and the dates and that's where I got the information from. So there is a grave here. It said it was by the side of this vault. Um, that was 1726. So that means the person was born in the 1600s. Uh, the ground here is so uneven. Uh, it's really weird. I've not seen a graveyard like this before. It's really, it's strange. Um, it's very squelchy underground. It's very uneven. Um, there's lots of different types of graves and memorials. Uh, so I'll just have a walk around and see what's there. Uh, that is really strange. All built up in the middle. Uh, today is Valentine's Day, so. Um, it's a day obviously for romance and lovers, but apparently St. Valentine wasn't, uh, it wasn't really anything to do with romance at all. Uh, the original, supposedly St. Valentine, he was decapitated and uh, his date of death was 14th of February. Um, but there are several different um, St. Valentines apparently. And also, um, Today was also the day of the death of St. Cyril. And uh, he also had a brother, he may have been a twin, who was called, also Saint, called St. Saint Methodius, uh, or Methodius. Uh, so that's also the, their Remembrance Day of St. Cyril because St. Cyril also died on 14th February. Uh, I think um, St. Methodius or Methodius, that's where the word methodical comes from. Uh, and this all comes down to uh, the work ethic. Um, so this is something I'm going to come to shortly. Uh, this church was consecrated um, around 1880. It was paid for by the Duke of Devonshire, uh, who owned all the land all around these parts. Uh, and probably still, still does own quite a lot, actually. Um, but the building itself at the time cost £6,000, but the Duke of Devonshire funded it. On this site previously was a chapel, and the two buildings stood side by side for, for a few years. The chapel was still there when they were building the church, and uh, then later the chapel was demolished. Um, so, the church was named after King Charles the Martyr because of, obviously the Dukes of Devonshire were royalists and, um, you know, they wanted to commemorate the king that had, um, that had died when he was um, deposed um, and uh, Cromwell came in. Now, the chapel that was here previously to the church was the Puritan chapel and um, the Puritans were Calvinists and the Calvinists um, actually were very strict and um, they basically, they weren't Christians as you know we're 
were led to believe they weren't Christians. Really, what they were were worshippers of of Baal. This is one reason why we get the bell in the, the bell, bells in the church tower. It's it's Baal worship. Um, so. Now, the Calvinists um, believed that they were going to be saved at the Day of Reckoning. Um, they would have um, salvation. And they were called the elect. Now, the ordinary people were called the damned. Now, the ordinary people, no matter what they did, could not reach salvation for eternal life. Um, at the day of reckoning, they would have no hope of salvation, no matter what they did to try to rectify, you know, any wrongs they'd done uh, during their life. It was not possible for them to achieve salvation because they were the damned and the elect were the higher class. Uh, these were the Calvinists, and these were the, you know, the uh, landowners, the priests, priestly class, the clergy, uh, mil military. It's all these type of people that they were. These were the elect, and it's still the same today. Um, so the paupers were the damned, and that's why they didn't deem. It wasn't deemed that they needed a an actual burial marker where they were buried. Uh, they were just going to be put into the earth without a marker. Um, but depending on what your standing in life was, now the next level up would be for one of these flat graves, a flat gravestone. And these, these are originally laid like this. These, these stones were laid flat. So these would have been the next level up. Oh, that one is 17, 17, 17. Oh, this person, yeah, this is even older then. Uh, 17, 17. March, 17, 17. Age 68 years. Right, so this is older than that one that was down there that I couldn't find. Um, the, so these are quite early. 1717. Now this that means this person was born in the mid 1600s. You don't find anything before that. You don't really find anything before the 1600s. This is what my belief, my researchers show that there were some kind of big events that happened in the 1500s, and then this one when I believe there was a reset. Because this is why you can't find any graves at all. You don't find anything, even for the well-to-do classes. There's no graves before the 1600s. There's some 1600s inside the churches or cathedrals. Um, they're for well-to-do and aristocracy and military and people like that. But not before the 1600s. Um, so this shows to me, this is when there was a catastrophe. There was a reset, something happened and the population was decimated and then when it was all starting up again the church people had to find a way to control the, the lower classes as when they started to proliferate again, once again, when things started to get going again uh, so they used religion to do that so they brought in the tenets of um, eternal damnation for sin. Um, if you didn't sort of live according to how you were expected to live, uh, live a perfect life. Uh, now look at this. That one says J8.
J8. Eighteen. That looks sunshine on it. Age twenty two years. Right, this is another one though. It's definitely the J there. So the idea was just work, just live life, live a good life. Then when you die from overwork, it's a question of thy will be done. So that made people accept it. I accept their lot, basically. This is all about the control of the lower classes. Now, this church, it was dedicated in the 18, 1880. 1st of November, that was All Saints Day. So once again, as I was mentioning when I was up at Eam, um, they are talking about All Saints Day, that was when all the deaths ended. Well, this church was dedicated on, consecrated on the 1st of November, 1880. So it's that date again, it's All Saints Day. And basically, it's not Christian. Um, there's nothing Christian whatsoever about it. Uh, so it was decided to build this church and demolish the old chapel. But the chapel had been there from the 1500s. So then again, it would have been built after what I think was the catastrophe. Um, and served its purpose as a Puritan chapel. I mean, they, they were all chapels anyway, they weren't churches. They were called chapels. And then this church was then built. Um, but why was it needed or thought necessary to build a big church like this with a low population? Because in the 2011 census, there was only 335 people on the electoral roll in, for this area. So again, it's your number 33. Um, and actually this property, this building, is listed as number 33 Church Lane. So it's that number, it's given that number 33. These numbers pop up all the time. Now those on the top of the tower there, they're supposed to be wind vanes, but I don't think they are wind vanes. They were, they were receiving uh, rods. Obviously, now, they will have been receiving messages uh, via, th through the ether. Um, they didn't have the same electrical equipment that we have, so the power wasn't needed for that, but they would have needed the um, mess uh, uh, electromagnetism to come through the ether for the passing messages through an intelligence. Now, those towers, with the, the, uh, the Louvre windows, that was built like that with the louver windows. That's a ventilation. But there again, why did it need a tower with ventilation? What was going on? This is all something that we're still researching now. Um, now I'm just this this ground is so uneven and really boggy and marshy ground. Um, reminds me of the Great Expectations that, that David Lean film. With, um, the convicts going over the marshes. It's, like, it's a bit like that, really. Um, these stones are really strange. They're what we call the bed, bed stones. It was made as if it was like a, it was like a bed, really. They're very low, very low. Now, the, the higher the monument, the more wealthy was the person. Uh, so, someone there. Died 80, 80 years. Um, we're not living any longer at all. Um, people have, look, 75 years. Um, 70 years. Uh, these are the, looks like this is the family all together. And these are just, they were just bricked in at the middle. But it ends up being a table tomb. It's a table tomb now. That's really weird. 
Why would they need to have a, a built-up table? Why would it need to be a build-up table? Holly. Oh, you see a holly bush. Uh, this is uh, why we call um, the holidays, is it hol holidays after the holly bush. These were all um, basically pagan, pagan um, trees. Nice red berries there. Um, that's why they were put into the cemeteries. Um, it was thought that there would be energy coming up from the bones. This is why the dead were buried in the, these places because it's gathering the energy from the bones and the bodies buried underneath. So this can cause vibrations and imagine all this energy from all these graves and all these dead bones under here. I mean, I know sometimes we think that there's nothing under there, which some of them I do believe are like film sets and there's nothing underneath. But in this case, the ground is so uneven, it's obvious that there are graves under here. And some of these, they won't even have stones on because some of them, well, didn't put a stone on or couldn't afford a stone. Uh, that's quite a new one, 1972. But most of these are, are old. Um, Yeah, the elect were chosen by God, apparently. And those not chosen were the damned. If not chosen, no chance of salvation. The elect could not go, go astray due to believing in predestination. That's what they believed in, predestination. So they thought that before they'd even come down to earth, in this incarnation, that they were already chosen. And that's probably why they were born into the families that they were born into. And those are the families who were the higher ups. And they would control the, the lower classes, the paupers, and they would have to just, um, you know, be the workers and do what the masters told them to do, basically. But they had no chance of, well, basically, they didn't really have any chance of eternal salvation, but the, prom the promise was live a good life, work hard, obey the master, and then, you know, your reward will be in the hereafter. Otherwise, of course, the promise was hellfire and brimstone. Instead of going up to heaven, you'll go down there below, but there, there's, a, there's a lot of evidence that there is a, an underworld. So there is an underworld and so there's entities and whatever's going on down there, but that needs more research. That has got a bunch of grapes. So that signifies the, the grapes on the vine. It's, it's a family with grapes. The, the, the people in the family, the grapes on the vine. We also sometimes see the acorns. And then the acorns signify the sons in the family or the children born to the family and they're signified by acorns. Yes, the sun's very bright, so I can't read everything. That's a very big old stone. The stones did get smaller later on. The font that's used for baptism is actually, baptism means baphomet. So when people are being baptized, it's, it's being baptised into, into, into Baphomet, basically. And it's, it's nothing, it's Christian, it's all, it's all basically satanic and, and the belief in, in Baal. That's what it's all about. But it's covered up, they brought in Christianity to, to fool the masses into subjugation. This is this is not what they were really preaching about. Uh, 
for their own um, guidance. I'm going to see if I can get in, inside the church. It did actually say in the literature that everyone is welcome here. And it said including believers in a flat earth. So I should be welcome then. This, mean, this must tell you something that the people higher up know that the earth is flat, of course they do. And of course everyone knew it was flat until 500 years ago. So again, that was in the 1500s when we were told that it's a globe and um, people higher up never believed that. Well, that's not open. Sure, if there's another door around this side, there should be a bigger door. There's no pathway then. Sure, if I'll be able to get in or not. Well, it's quite impressive from this side. Now they all have this square tower at the top with those things on the corners and the clock of course in the middle. Now the clock was put in so that everyone had to live their life according to the clock. That was brought in once again. Call people to prayer, the wealthy one actually would go to church every day and twice on Sundays but of course the, the wealthy people didn't work so they used to spend lots of the time going to church but the clocks were brought in so that the ordinary